Hey guys, it's your boy G. I'm here with uh, two modular helmets from Harley Davidson. And the question we're gonna take a look at for this video is, should you purchase a modular helmet from Harley Davidson or go to the aftermarket and look for something that you think is superior? Thing is really difficult to get on. I mean, just like your nose won't. I don't know. What do you do? You try to just sh shove your nose in, or <sighs> my ears hurt. Ah, ah. So, should you buy one of these from Harley Davidson? My opinion: yes. Here are the reasons why I say that. One. My wife is my uh, road companion, my, my riding experience. I like to make it two up as often as possible. She says that this is the most comfortable, most confident, inspiring helmet that she has had. All right, that's first thing. Um, the fit and finish is good, too. The price is actually a little bit less than other uh, modular helmets that are this quality. And let's get into that real quick. Modular helmet, what do we mean? What does it do? Modular in that it's kind of like an open face helmet and a full face helmet. So it's a hybrid. And you do need to understand with all things that are like that, that you're getting like some of both worlds so not the best full-faced helmet in the world and not the best open-faced helmet experience. It's a mix. Here's what I mean. You flip that, see that was very easy, right? Just goes right up. So at a light, you could get a lot more air. You can speak to the person that's on the bike with you, speak to a bike that's uh, across from you very easily. Okay, so the price of these things are like 230-ish to 260-ish. That's all it does. Let's take a closer look. You of course have this. Okay. You of course have a vent. This one, uh, nice curve to it, so easy to do this or this with a glove on. All right, this is my favorite part of these right here. Push, now you have glasses on. Hit a button, now you don't. So just like this, boom. Hit the button, that still gives you venting up here. That still gives you venting up there, all right? But I'm gonna talk about the final reason why I think this is a, a, a decent a, a decent purchase. And yes, this is dot approved, all right? The strapping is typical, kind of normal, all right? And um, if you look here, you'll see that on both of our helmets, we have audio gear. Now, this is the thing, this is probably the main reason why we tried these on and, and fitted them to see if these would work for us. We got Harley's audio gear. It literally snaps into this. Like it just, you just shove it in place and it stays there. All right. So there's like two screws that you loosen to shove this on this ridge. And then the inner speaker just gets shoved into space underneath. Like you just pull this stuff out, shove it in and, and snap it back up and, and put it back. So, for these reasons, we really love Harley Davidson's modular helmet. You should be aware, if you're like me and you really prefer to have a half helmet or even nothing if I could, which I can't in the state of New Jersey, all right? You need to be aware of the fact that modular helmets aren't quite as snug. I wouldn't say that they're slipping. That would be like, then I wouldn't suggest this helmet. 
but you will find at times like over you know an hour and a half that you're doing like a little tiny quarter inch adjustment because there was there was some movement all right um it's nothing that is going to make you be like this har this this helmet is horrible but it's something to know overall these are a great purchase for the money and for what they accomplish for my wife and i um the main reason for these was actually to be able to talk to each other. We wanted gear that would go with them. We'd be able to talk to each other. And for me, the shades. Um, I'm always stuffing glasses into my helmet and breaking them or having sore um, head near where my ears are. And uh, with this, I got shades on. Um, so very, very cool. I would definitely consider taking a look at these.